I am making a plea to Terrence Crawford. Even if you elect to give Errol Spence Jr. a rematch, please do not do this for at least a year. Don't, please don't do that. Y'all are cool with one another. You didn't have a promoter. You separated separate ties from top rank. You ultimately called Errol Spence Jr. in the middle of the night one day. You got on the phone with him directly. He was a champion holding three belts. You knew how good you were, but in the same breath, you didn't have that promoter connection and you needed this brother to step up and give you an opportunity. He did that for you. BBC with Al Heyman and those brothers did that. And as a result, you agreed to a two-fight deal. I know the stipulations. The loser gets to get the mandatory rematch. The winner gets to decide at what weight class. I know about the 147 pound and how you nor Errol Smith Jr. want to fight at that again. I know that you're up, Terrence Crawford, to fighting him at 154. I'm begging you, my brother. I'm begging you. Because I know you got love. And I'm begging Errol Spence Jr., as good as you are, you were just outclassed and, and all of that other stuff. I, Crawford destroyed you. Destroyed you. I say that respectfully because I got mad respect for Errol Spence Jr. I got mad respect. If you were in the hotels where I was at after the fight, I saw numerous members of the Dallas Cowboys, all who flew in to watch you. They were walking around looking absolutely depressed. I'm not trolling the Cowboys. This is not a joke. They were like, uh, uh, Mark, Michael Parsons looked like he was ready to cry. 